Hello and welcome back to the Zodiac Challenge. We are on episode six of our Aquarius generation. And this is Maya. She just moved in with her boyfriend, Akira. She's having some cramps this morning. Akira is reading a book. Let's see, Maya has unlocked the close-knit lifestyle. Awesome. And that's probably just from having some really great friends that she loves to spend time with that are a part of her club. We did update her house a little bit in the last episode. We have a bit more money now that Akira lives with us. He brought over 3,000 simoleons. So I think I'm gonna update the house just a bit more. I really wanna add on a bathroom off of the master bedroom. And I think that we could finally spruce up the kitchen a bit more. I think it needs a little bit of help. So let's pop over into build and buy mode and we will make that happen. So I really want a bathroom right here for the master bedroom. It's almost the same size as the master bedroom. Oops, well, <laughs> sometimes you just need a luxurious bathroom and that's what we're going for. Let's see if we have some nice tile for the wall. I'm still kind of going with a blue theme for her just because Aquarius is a water bearer and I just think that it makes a lot of sense to kind of give her some blue themes throughout her house. We no longer have to just buy the cheapest toilet so that is great. We can find her something a little different. <laughs> okay we have a cute little blue and tan bathroom here with a shower, a little organizing cabinet and some artwork hanging up. I think that that will suit them perfectly. Let's get them a sink in this bathroom as well. I'm thinking just something simple. Okay, I've kind of shifted things around in this bathroom just a little bit. At some point we'll upgrade that shower because it's a little weird in the guest bathroom <laughs> to just have a freestanding shower with no covering around it, but We'll get there. Let's see if we can upgrade our kitchen. I do love this little blue fridge. I think it's quite retro and cute. And while we're at it, let's put a window back here above the sink. And do we have money for some overhead cabinets? Not really. We could maybe do some of these. They don't really match. We could do some open shelving over here. Maybe I'll move that in the corner. Okay, I have to quit decorating because we're down to four simoleons. I spent that very quickly. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I didn't decorate the outside. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, well, that'll happen sometime later. It's a work in progress, what can I say? But now they have a standard size fridge and another bathroom, so we're coming up in the world. Oh, and Miko is calling Akira. I've been thinking about getting to know Cletus Harris better as a friend. Go for it. I love that because Miko and Akira were roommates, that they have a connection as well. It actually seems like Miko and Darling are the only two people that he knows other than me, which is a little strange. I had popped in here when I was taking the screenshots for the last episode just to see how he perceive how Akira perceives Maya, and he perceives her as basic looking, which I don't love because that's basically right in the middle. The way the attractiveness settings go is like basic looking and then attractive, very attractive, extremely attractive. And then it can go the other way as well, like unattractive, very unattractive, extremely unattractive. So he really just kind of doesn't perceive any attractiveness towards her, again, which I don't love. Now they are soulmates, it says, because they've maxed out their friendship and their love towards one another. But I'm wondering if, because he doesn't perceive her as attractive, if that was causing some of the tension earlier on in their relationship, I don't know. I feel like it has to be said that Akira has done some weird things and I kind of get the feeling that he's slightly toxic. He was a little bit aggressive towards the beginning of our relationship, but because this is the Sims, and we need Maya to get married and have kids. We're just gonna pretend like we don't see it. But in real life, don't do that. If a guy is pointing out your flaws and is not kind to you, please don't end up marrying him. <laughs> But this is The Sims, it's make-believe. Oh, he is also an introvert, I'm just seeing. So maybe that explains why he really only knew his roommates and Maya. He hasn't really made friends at work or anything, so maybe we can remedy that today for him. So they both are off to work. What is Maya's work situation like? We're in good standing, I may have her work hard. Oh, and I forgot about bills again. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like, I am not taking care of our house 
here I am spending money on additions that we don't have. <laughs> I'm gonna have Akira socialize with coworkers so that maybe he will make some friends. And Maya just brought home some money. So we are going to immediately pay our bills so that I don't forget. And our power is back on, which is wonderful. So she is in the excellent range for her job. So that means that next shift, we will definitely get another promotion. It is a Tuesday, she doesn't work tomorrow. So it'll be a bit before we have to worry about work again, which is totally fine. I wonder if now that I have about 200 simoleons, if I can go ahead and finish up the exterior of my house. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, we are sorted, perfect. And then hopefully Akira will bring home a little bit more money. And ideally, the next thing that I want to do, I wanted to add on that bathroom, but then the next thing after that that I really want to do is get them a computer so that we can adopt a pet this episode. I know I talked about it last episode, and then I totally spaced after we saw Pickles. Pickles. And so I do still really want to get them a pet. I think that that's probably first before we have a baby. Okay, he brought home 320 simoleons. Let's see what we can do with that. And I decided too that I'm gonna kind of scooch everything around here. We'll put the doors still across from one another. I think that that makes a lot of sense. We'll move the art back. Okay, so now we have like a little living room area as soon as people come in, which I really love. Now, where to put a little desk? We could probably fit it into their bedroom. I hope that there is room. And we don't need something like major. See, I just don't know if there's gonna be room in here. Hmm. I'm wondering if I just get them like a little space saver desk, if they can still walk around it to get to the bed. That's what I'm concerned about. Dang, I wish I had a little bit more money and I would make this bedroom just a touch longer. I guess I could go ahead and do that, just like one block longer. And then that way we could put in a more normal desk into this room. Gosh, I run out of money so quickly. And a we don't have money now for any of the computers, <laughs> but they have a desk. So I'm happy with that at least. We're getting there. We have to have money for a computer plus the adoption fee before we can get the pet. So maybe we just hold off for a bit. I don't wanna spend all of their money again <laughs> cause we will need the money for both of those things. I really wanna see how these two interact now that they live together. I wanna make sure that this is still a good fit before, you know, we settle down and have kids with this person. I mean, they seem to be getting along right now. That's good. Maybe now that he's in my household, we can kind of prevent him from just being a jerk to her. And it's sad that I even have to say that. Again, don't live like the Sims. This is just pretend. <laughs> he is feeling flirty and that is from his romantic trait. So did he meet anyone at work? I don't think that he did. Hmm. Oh, Mika wants to go to the discotheque tonight. Okay. Let's go. We might be leaving Akira at home, but he can fend for himself for a bit. Oh, it's downpouring immediately as we get here. Everywhere I go, it is just raining. I can ask her about her love life. I think that's just because I'm very flirty at the moment. I can gush about my partner, which of course she knows him. So she'll probably love to hear that it's going really well. She's always singing, but I feel like she's getting good. She's kind of operatic singing now. Okay, let's go in here. Let's dance together. Oh, and the DJ just leaves. As soon as I say, let's go dance together. <laughs> this lady's still loving it. Whoa, there's no music happening, but Candy is breaking it down. Oh, here we go. There's a couple of celebrities here. It feels like they're competing for attention. Oh, someone has just passed out here. Oh, a fan from one of the famous people has just passed out here. It looks like Clara may have had her second baby now because she is no longer pregnant. I love that Maya's dancing skills are just a little subdued. Oh, there she's opening up a bit. You know, she is an introvert. She doesn't really want to be the center of attention. So here she is kind of standing at the back of everything. Just kind of boogie in by herself. I think Candy's gonna take center stage again. Who is singing? Please don't tell me that that's Miko somewhere singing. I think that it is, y'all. <gasps> Miko. 
we're at the club and she's just practicing her scales over there. Yeah, see, Maya's just kind of hanging back in the crowd, watching everyone else. But she is having a blast, so that's great. So, you know, introverts don't have to be in the center of things to be having a wonderful time. And this is kind of fun, like partying with some celebrities here. Oh, Maya acquired the DJ mixing skill? Is it just from watching? I thought you actually had to do it in order to acquire the skill, but that's pretty cool. There are some ghosts here partying with us. I literally can't get her to leave the dance floor. She has to pee and she's like, no, I'm still, still dancing. And Miko is singing along with the music. I don't really know. She is confident. She is not nervous about just letting the entire club hear her sing right here by the DJ booth. <laughs> the ghost has come to listen, so she's catching the attention of the deceased even. And we're just wearing a face mask at the club, you know, as you do, putting on a sheet mask. <laughs> All right, it's 11.30. Our hangout session has ended. Let's he head home. If I can get her to stop dancing, she's just really loving this. Well, that was a fun night out with our best friend. Hopefully Akira was fine at home. I'm sure that he was. And that's a wonderful balance to figure out when you move in with your significant other for the first time. Figuring out how to do things apart or spend the evening apart while also making sure that you prioritize each other. It is definitely a balance and it's a good one to figure out early on. They're both pretty hungry so I'm gonna have Akira make us some food even though it's midnight but you know she came home from the club she's ready to eat. <laughs> Sometimes you need a little midnight pick-me-up after you've been clubbing with your friends and she's feeling very flirty so she has gone off to help him with the cooking okay. which is very nice. Okay, he likes to cook. That's wonderful. Girl, you don't also have to cook. He just finished some mac and cheese for you. And it's excellent quality, so dig into that. Oh, and they've stood up just to just to chat. Oh, he wanted to give her a kiss. Okay, okay, I'm fine with that. Oh, she's feeling very flirty. Well, since she's feeling so flirty, I feel like they would probably woohoo before bed. I don't know, you know, they're still like newly living together, probably all very exciting and fun. I think that it makes a lot of sense. And I just realized that she doesn't work today, so this is fine that she went out and had a late night and it's two in the morning and she still hasn't gone to bed. I think it's fine. I don't know if Akira works in the morning, but he probably wanted to stay up and see her. And obviously he has benefited from staying up to wait for her to get home. So <laughs> let's see if he has work. He does have work in seven hours, so he can sleep in a little bit. That should be fine. All right, and they are both up. She's having separation anxiety from her phone and that's from her phone quirk that she has. I don't love that. And they have decided to watch a movie before he goes into work today. She's having an erratic moment. Oh my gosh, and I forgot that we, that we won the Humor and Hijinks Festival last time. I keep forgetting that. So we have a bunch of stuff that we can sell. All of these fireworks, I'm not gonna use them. So let's just sell them. Wait, we also got a voodoo doll? I forgot that that was part of the mischief. Oh my gosh, we could literally attach this to someone. Don't we have an enemy? We're enemies with Thorn Bailey, the famous guy here in The Sims. We could attach that to him if we wanted to be mean, but I don't know if we wanna do that. Oh, we also have some pictures of ourselves that I forgot about. Cute, we can put up these. Maybe I'll put one in the bedroom as well. Can we put it like, oh, we can set it on a shelf. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's put one in here too. We'll just put it on the wall. So, okay, now we have 500 simoleons. Can we buy a computer and adopt a dog today? There's a computer. We still have 210 simoleons. Can we adopt a dog today? Or do I want her to get a cat? She kind of gives me cat girl vibes. Hmm, I don't know. I want to see if Pickles is available. If Pickles is not available, we're gonna look at cats. Cause I kind of feel like she would be a cat person. Oh my gosh, they're all so cute. This is hard, like waffle and butter. Oh my gosh, they're all so adorable. Do I get her to get a puppy? Waffle's so pretty with those blue eyes. I can't decide. Okay, okay. Let's actually go into this area and see if we meet any little strays because there's a lot of strays that run through here like 
like Meryl right here. It's like a little corgi. And I don't know how you adopt the strays that you find, but you obviously can. That's kind of like the point of this world. Kimber is down here too, who is a very stinky cat, I think. Oh my goodness. That is a very stinky kitty. Okay, I'm just gonna have her come down here to the beach. <gasps> Wait, 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 is that Pickles? <gasps> is that Pickles? That's Pickles. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I want her to hurry, like run to the beach. We can't let Pickles get away. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just, oh no, 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 wait, wait, they got canceled. Hang on. No, we're gonna friendly introduce ourselves to Pickles. Come on. I just think the name Pickles is so cute. I don't know why. And seeing it so sad last episode, I just couldn't even cope with how pitiful. Come on, go here and meet this dog. Why is she having such a hard time with meeting this dog? Okay, we're gonna wake up Pickles. You probably shouldn't wake up a stray that you don't know but I really just want to meet this dog. Watch it be like ferocious or something. <laughs> You're gonna friendly, friendly meet it. Get to know, I wanna know your traits, little doggy. Look at its little face. Are you freaking kidding me? It's friendly. Oh my gosh, play. I wanna know all of its traits. We can offer friendship. Oh my gosh, look at its little face. It looks so sad all the time. It's friendly and cute. Are you are you kidding me? What's its final trait? Troublemaker. Oh my gosh. But I actually think that that's really cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Pickles. Look at this. Look at this wholesomeness. Oh, I really want pickles. How do I adopt pickles? Do I have to become friends with it first? A friendly, cute troublemaker would make just such a sweet little dog. Oh, we just became friends. Adopt. Adopt is coming up. I'm just gonna do it. A cure is at work. And I'm literally just bringing home this stray dog. I'm gonna give it my last name. Oh my goodness. Look, that was so cute. Well, because we adopted a stray, we saved 200 simoleons. So now I can buy him all kinds of cute stuff. Wait, is Pickles a boy or a girl? Pickles is a girl, precious. I'm gonna give her like a little collar and we can get a closer look at Pickles. I just freaking love that name. I don't know why, it just makes me really happy. So this is Pickles, our newest member of the family. Can you tell I'm excited that we ran into this dog today? I'm so excited. Let's give her a pretty little blue collar so that she really belongs. She's so cute with her little waggy tail. Like, look at what a good girl she is. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed. I'm obsessed. Well, let's go home and then we can buy some stuff for Pickles because Pickles is gonna need some stuff at our house, obviously. And our house is still so small that like, I'm wondering if Pickles needs like a dog house outside. I don't really know. I don't love that because it rains a lot. So Pickles would just be like in the rain. We can get them a cute little toy box. It says this is an outdoor one. I don't really care. It's cute. We're putting it inside. We also need a bowl, obviously. Let's see, where can their food bowl go? See, again, we're getting a little squeezy here with, with all the stuff that we have. But hopefully that will be at least good for now. We have some toys and food. I might buy this little newspaper toy. I think that's really cute. And get Pickles a ball. Just so Pickles feels loved and at home here. I also have this CC bowl that I really like. Could we afford to get a bed? We can afford to get a bed, but that's a little bed. We kind of need a big bed. This is a bigger dog. This just might be too small for Pickles. Oh, that is a very large bed. We don't really have room for that though. Hmm. I may put one of these smaller ones in here. I don't know if that'll be too small for pickles, but we'll see. Okay, we have 32 simoleons now, but Akira will be home from work soon. He's gonna be real shocked to come in and find a dog there. <laughs> but this is what we did with our day off. We found a stray that we fell in love with and we brought it home. And so Akira is just gonna have to cope with that. Cause really Pickles right now is our dog. We're not married to Akira yet. So, you know, Akira will fall in love with Pickles, but in the meantime, Pickles is very much our dog. We found her, we love her. Come to your new home. Welcome home, little dog. Check everything out. What do you think of the bathroom? We literally did this with our dog. We, we just got a puppy last month and we literally put him on a leash and locked him into 
every single room of our house just so he could see it and get him accustomed to it with us there. And then we let him off the leash and let him explore on his own. But we wanted to walk him through and just kind of show him everything. So I love that Pickles is kind of doing that on her own. What a cutie. Oh, she does need to potty. Well, we'll need to make sure and do some potty training. Okay, Darling wants to see Akira this week. I think that that would be fine. Okay, we need to go here and let Pickles out because Pickle is needing to potty. And since she's a grown dog, uh, she should be able to come and go from the house on her own. I think it's just puppies that can't. Mika wants to hang out again. She wants to hang out at the bluffs. I think tonight, since we have a new dog maybe not we really need to make sure that pickles gets accustomed to our house so we have different priorities today miko sorry best sterling is contacting us do you wish you looked as happy as i do well you have the power just send one simoleon to me don't delay happiness is just a simoleon away i never know what this one is about i mean sure i'll give you i'll give you one simoleon don't really understand oh and now pickles is drinking their own pee. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's stop that, please. Okay, troublemakers are more difficult to train. You can even encourage their misbehavior. Well, right now, we don't want Pickles to drink her own pee. That's just no good. We're not gonna do that, but I'm still gonna hug you and pet you, let you know that everything's fine, that this is your new home. Oh my goodness, are you kidding? How freaking sweet is all of this. I love it. Oh, oh and now she's rolling in her pee. Oh man. <laughs> Let's see if we can practice some fetch. Oh, and Akira's home. Oh, he was promoted. Good job. He's now in quality assurance. Awesome. He got the stainless steel auto pot. I don't know what that is. Akira, come and meet our newest housemate. See what you think about pickles. I'm really curious to see how this goes. Uh. Oh my gosh, he's so like Very polite. Awesome. He's literally waving at the dog like, hey, <laughs> what's up? Nice to meet you. I oh, yes. think that this is going well. Oh yeah, it's our new little housemate. My new little dog. Oh good, Akira just became friends. That's great. Pickles would rather chase her tail than play fetch. Go get it, Pickles. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So stinking cute. There's not a ton of room in here to do this, but I think that's really precious. I love this. I'm so glad we have Pickles. Okay, we'll just settle down to watch some TV and let Pickles enjoy the rest of her dinner and get acclimated. Oh, she doesn't like the TV. Oh no. Can you comfort your pet if they're having like a scared moment? And Maya is just off to bed. I guess she did have kind of a late night last night, so. Akira is working on his programming for work. He hasn't played a ton with Pickles, who is drinking out of the toilet at the moment, but we love a little chaotic dog. Okay, Pickles does seem scared of a lot of technology, which makes sense. It's an adult dog that's been on the streets for most of its life, so it's probably not used to computers and TVs and all this technology that makes a lot of noise, and that makes total sense that it would be a little freaked out by it. But we just have to make sure and really encourage Pickles that it is safe here. This is its forever home. I think it's gonna go drink out of this toilet now. <laughs> it's just finding all the water sources in this house. Okay, let's try and get Pickles to not drink out of the toilets. That's pretty gross. I feel like I could just watch Pickles all day, see what she gets up to. She's just so cute, just trotting around the house. Oh, and we have a broken sink. We do have a bit of cash. We probably could just replace it. That's not a very expensive sink. So I think that's what I'll do. Okay, the two of them are getting along. I think that Akira is not super freaked out that we brought home a dog. He's probably not even that surprised to be honest. You know, the couch may end up being a better <laughs> place for Pickles to sleep than this little bed. I'm thinking maybe this bed is just a little bit too small. Akira will get into bed. We'll all have a great night's sleep. I think that Pickles is acclimating super well. I hope that Pickles, do Pickles doesn't tear anything up in the night. Oh, and Maya lost her celebrity level. Okay, so that also means that her phone quirk will go away. So I'm fine with that. I'm not sure that Maya ever really wanted to be a celebrity. She just gained some fame from work. It was not even good fame, so. Oh, Pickles is headed outside to watch it snow. She's gonna go frolic in the snow. This is so cute. And Maya's also out here re reacting to the first snow. First snow in our house with our dog and our boyfriend. Life is pretty great. Pickles is definitely making herself at home here. I hope that she feels comfy here. And Maya still doesn't have work for a 
another four hours. So we could really just spend this time maybe training Pickles a bit. Maybe we can go on a long walk with Pickles this morning. Get out of the house a bit. Get Pickles used to walking on a leash. I don't want to see from witnessing death. Who did he see die? Oh my gosh, that must have been before he moved in with us. Oh, and it's Harvest Fest today. I forgot that that was happening today. So we won't even go into work. Dang, we would have gotten a promotion today. I guess I could have her go into work anyway, which is a little weird to go in on a holiday like this. Would lobbyists even be work? Probably. Lobbyists probably do work on holidays. I don't know for certain, but I could totally see it. And I really want her to get that promotion. So when it's time for her to go into work, I think I might have her do that. What are Akira's likes and dislikes? So he dislikes hip hop music. He likes painting and cooking and he dislikes gray. Well, <laughs> there are a lot of gray things in our household. You are sitting at a gray table. So hmm, maybe we should get him an easel though because he likes to paint. I think that that would be nice and show that we're, you know, really trying to make him feel welcome here as well. I would love at some point to give them more of like a deck off the front. And then if we gave him an easel, he could be out there and paint or, or maybe this is better. We can put an easel out here looking out at the water and he can be out here on the cliffside and paint. Oh, that sounds idyllic. I'm gonna do that. We have some funds right now, so we could go ahead and get him an easel. Oh my gosh, doesn't that seem so nice to be out here? That sounds amazing to me. And in usual fashion, I'm gonna go ahead and get them a bit more, <laughs> a few more things for their kitchen. Just spend their money. <laughs> okay, our kitchen is looking a little bit more normal. I don't love this range hood, but I didn't really have money for any of the others. And I think that actually this one is supposed to go, or at least it looks like it kind of goes with that, but I will probably change that in the future. I just, I feel like that's a range hood for in the center of the room and not for up against the wall. So we'll adjust that in the future, but at least our kitchen is starting to look a bit more stocked, a little bit more normal <laughs> in my opinion. Okay, Miko wants to come over and celebrate Harvest Fest with us for a bit. That'll be really fun. She can get to meet Pickles as well. We went outside to chat with Miko again We to gossip. Wonder if we're talking about living with Akira and how that's going so far. Oh, I can go to work now. I think I'm going to do that. Miko and Akira can catch up for a bit. Wait, does he find Miko attractive? Okay. He doesn't find us attractive, but he does find Miko attractive because I'm getting the option, like if you go into romance, a bunch of these have the attractiveness symbol beside it. Oh man. Well, I'm obviously not gonna have him flirt with her, but that's really interesting. I did not realize that, I mean, Miko is cute, but, and she's very flirty. Oh no, I went to work and what did I do? do. I left my very flirty best friend with my boyfriend who's also attracted to her. Okay, she turned to very energized. That's good because that was almost very weird. Not that I think that Miko would do anything, nor would Akira, but that just was very strange. But that's just really interesting to know that the potential for romance is there for both of them. I mean, actually, we don't know if Miko finds Akira attractive. We just know that he finds her attractive. Maya spies a rival politician speaking to lobbyists widely believed to be rather shady. Maya knows that there's an opportunity to oust the politician, but perhaps there's more nuance than appears on the surface. Paddle to the press or question lobbyists. I'm gonna say question lobbyists. Maya dials the lobbyists later in the day to inquire about their policies and plans. It turns out the politician is a major ally of Maya's policies and explains the rumors. A new partnership is born. Collected some donations for the cause. A hundred simoleons. Wow, okay. I wasn't sure how that was gonna go down, but I just feel like Maya would not be the type of sim to run to the press. I feel like she didn't like the negative attention that she got. So I don't think she would do that to someone else. Also, we have a very stinky dog. Something tells me that they have been rolling in their urine again. So, okay, let's see if we can change up this bathroom because we really need a tub to wash the dog. So I'm just curious if we can squeeze it in anywhere. Gosh, we might not be able to. This is a really, really squeezy bathroom. What's the cheapest tub we can afford? Oh gosh, this cask and barrel antique tub. There is a pet wash that I have, a CC, which would be really, really cute. I wonder if we could fit that even outside, but we don't have enough cash at the moment, which is fine. But I'm thinking that that could be a really cute option, having like an outdoor, 
little bath station. I'm just gonna have to wait until Maya comes home from work because we don't have the cash right now. Right now we just have a really stinky pickles in our house, <laughs> which sounds like an incorrect sentence, but it's not. Is he crying while watching this black and white movie? Wonder why. <laughs> What's happening in this movie that has him so upset? Oh, he's like really upset. Maybe this is not the harvest fest he had expected. Maya went into work. Miko's here, but she's not really hanging out with him. He has a really stinky dog that he can't wash. Okay, I don't even know why I was worried about Miko being here with Akira because they literally hardly talk to each other, which was actually a little strange. There was no flirting that happened whatsoever. Pickles has learned to not drink from the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> because Pickles has been doing that a lot. And since Akira likes to cook, maybe I can have him start a grand meal and then it'll just be ready when Maya comes home from work. That would be really sweet of him. Ugh, I can't wait to bathe Pickles. Pickles is looking real stinky. Why are you so scared of the computer? The computer's not even on right now. No. Yeah, he's also not liking how smelly Pickles is. <laughs> I don't blame him. Oh, we're still working on our cooking skill. What level is he? Oh, he's actually a lower level than Maya is. Why did I think that he was higher? Oh my gosh, and he also broke glass into our food. For some reason, thought that he was a much more skilled chef than Maya is, and he's definitely not. But that's okay, he's also learning. You don't get better if you don't try. I applaud him for attempting to do a grand meal. He really likes fitness. So I'm gonna have him go do an energized jog. Oh, here's another sad stray. They're everywhere in this world. I also realized that I never gave Akira new clothes to wear. He just has his like default clothes. So I think it would be really nice to give him just a little bit of a spruced up style now that he lives with us and he's like officially in our household. I do like his leather jacket situation, but Let's see if we can find something similar that's CC. Okay, so I really didn't have a good alternative to the leather jacket, so I did keep it. I'm gonna look for some CC tonight and see if I can find an updated version of a leather jacket, but I did update a few of his other outfits just to, you know, give him more of a personal style, and I think they all really fit him quite nicely. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's Akira's updated style. And so now he's in his new clothes out for a jog. And now that I'm thinking about it, he's jogging literally. It was snowing and he's in a tank top. So more power to him. <laughs> I probably should have given him more of a wintertime outfit to jog in, but Darling is calling him. Jules Rico has asked me on a date. Should I say yes? Go for it. I feel like I just say yes to almost everything, unless it's something that I feel like will negatively impact my own story, then I'm a little more hesitant. But otherwise, I like to see the stuff that's happening outside of my household. Pickles has woken up and is just hanging out with the gnomes. Are we sure if the gnomes are alive or not? I mean, they kind of are because you can appease the gnomes and they can get mad at you and you can obviously build relationship with them. They're also like little statues. So what are they? I don't know. We left our dog at home with them. So <laughs> even though Pickles is like giving love out into the world, it looks a little concerned. Concerned. Hurry home, Akira. <laughs> Pickles might be panicking. Okay, and Maya is home with a promotion promoted to fundraising specialist. She'll now make an additional 41 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 98 simoleons per hour. Dang, she almost doubled her income. She earned the following, every little thing counts. What is that? And collect donations, 100 simoleons interaction. Okay, because we do have to collect 500 simoleons in donations in order to be promoted. So I'm glad that there's an option to get 100 all in one fell swoop. Zoe is wondering if I wanna come over to her house. I wish that I could, but Akira has made us this wonderful dinner and I really want to appreciate the dinner that that he has spent such a long time on. I'm also now going to get us that little dog bath for outside of our house because that'll be really handy. I'm really interested to see how this thing works because I've honestly never used it before. So there it is on the side of our house. Once Akira gets back home and we have our meal, which she's already eating over here. We'll wash the dog and see how that works. Where did Pickles go? Oh, Pickles is way over here. 
headed towards the beach. You know, Pickles used to be out and about and is used to that lifestyle. Sentiment Gain, do you know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more. I'm sure of it. They're also really cold in this household because I've not gotten them a thermostat. It will raise the bills if I get them a thermostat, but <laughs> they're both pretty chilly, I think. <laughs> Hey, I got you a special gift because you're such a good neighbor and I appreciate your kindness and friendship. Want to see what it is? Oh, Miko. We're not neighbors, but I mean, yeah. She did come back over once we were home from work, so maybe she also was a little uncomfortable about being left there with Akira. Maybe something happened between them when they lived together. I don't know. A crafted violin? She just gave us a violin? Oh my goodness. That's a really good friend. We don't play violin, but we can learn. Oh my gosh, look at this. This would be so nice to actually have, to have an outdoor bath for your dog. Man, that would make my life so much easier. <laughs> oh, and the two of them are in here chatting it up. Though, you know, it seems perfectly platonic at the moment. Oh, I'm freezing to death. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, wait, 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 we need to go back inside. I don't wanna fail this challenge, like, right now. Go inside. It's not smart to bathe your dog outside in the cold when it's been snowing. All bad things. Okay, she seems to be warming up just no longer being near water, so that's good. I can't believe that Miko gave us a violin. Oh, and we've had a great harvest fest so far. Lilith is coming to our door. I'm pretty sure she's a vampire. I don't know if I'm gonna let her in. That scares me a little bit. Why am I getting the option to complain about love life? Our love life has been great. And he's gonna, he would complain to Maya about that? Yikes. Unless it's more like complain about the love life or lack thereof that he had before her. Even still, that's not really harvest fest conversation. You know, I think we're both just gonna head to bed. I think that that, it's getting a little bit late. Akira has work tomorrow, as do I. So we'll just get an early night sleep. And Harvest Fest was successful. Perfect. Okay, so I think that I'm going to end it there. I think that we've made quite a bit of progress this episode. We have a new promotion. We have added on to our house in several different ways. And most importantly, we have our newest little family member, Pickles, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I hope that you all are as well. I think that Pickles is going to be a great addition to Maya and Akira's life together. And we are also two days away from Maya aging up to be an adult. So I think that that will probably happen in the next episode. And then, like I keep saying, I think that we will probably want to think about marriage and babies. So a lot to come. I hope that you are excited for what is in store for Maya. I know that I certainly am. And thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next episode. Bye!